Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Daniel O'Neill with Akumina, and today we'll be creating a simple widget that you can use for your Akumina driven digital workplace. So taking some inspiration from many of our clients, this widget will be used to display a different message on the homepage for each day of the week. So let's get going. So to start, what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump into the Akumina widget builder project that I set up right here. Now, again, this is a pretty simple project to set up on your side of it. Uh, I'll put a link in the blog post for this video, as well as the video description itself. Uh, and it takes about three or four minutes to set up. It makes you up and ready to start going and building some simple widgets for your site. Now, to begin, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to create uh, the stub out of my new widget. So down here on the terminal, I'm going to say npm run stub. And I'm going to be taken through this wizard based process to create a new widget for my site. So what's the name of our widget? We'll call this one um, daily message. What is the widget namespace? So for my project, I'm going to use akumina.widgets. Now in your project, it might be a little bit different. So just account for that for this namespace right there. For this starting template, I'm going to use the Hello World widget. So we're going to keep a very simple widget today that we're actually not going to query a list. Uh, maybe for a follow-up one for this one, maybe we'll use the get list sample. But for now, we're just going to use the Hello World one to start off with. So when choosing the directory to store the widget folder uh, information in, I'm just going to use the default. Most cases, that's the right place for that. So I'm just going to hit Enter. Uh, asking me if I want this to be an instance only. Actually, I want this to be a full-fledged widget. So I'm going to say no right there. And the last question is if I want to use TypeScript for this widget. Now, for this case, I'm going to say no and actually just build this out with uh, JavaScript right now. So with that process completed, you'll see I have a new folder up here called daily message. And inside of there are three folders that contain the information for my widget. So we'll start by working on the config file right there. So I'll double click this. And when it loads up, it's going to have kind of all the details that kind of make up the, um, the, the, the widget itself. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to do when I come here, because uh, the site that I'm going to deploy this out to, um, in this case, is a version 5 modern site. Uh, now, so it might be a little bit different if you're using a 4.5 or 4.8, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to change the location of the files that get deployed out from this widget right here. So in this case, it's specifying style library, but again, we want to use the Akumina library location right here, as well as the for the JS right here. So again, you might not need to make this change right there uh, if you're using an older version of Akumina, uh, but for version 5 modern, we do want to put that right there. And so what we want to do is inside the widget definition, we want to specify the properties that are going to make up this right here. Now, again, we're going to have a different message uh, for each day. So we're going to keep it kind of simple. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to give a name for each property. So I'm going to have one for Sunday. And my tooltip, which essentially will be displayed in the widget manager inside the app manager right there, I'm going to say Sunday's message. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to put a default value in there and I'm not going to, uh, and, and the, the type of this is going to be string here as well. So again, keeping it super simple uh, and I'll add one of these for each day of the week right now. So look, give me one second. Okay. So now that I have a property set for each day of the week, uh, I'm ready to actually start working more on the config information here. And what I want to do is actually down here, when I stub out a new widget, it's going to create a default instance for this right here as well. So again, I can leave this as is and for the name and description and everything. But right here, I actually want to specify what I want to have for the default properties for this instance right here. So what I would do is I click on the name. This is going to be Sunday, which correlates to the Sunday property right here. And my message might be something like, um, get ready for the week. Okay, and so I'm going to have a message for each day of the week right here. And I'll show this later about how I can actually specify this inside the app manager, but for now we'll do it right here. Okay, so now that I have all my default properties set, I'm actually done with the config settings for this widget right there. Now, again, if I wanted to, I could add more if you wanted to. But again, for this widget, we're going to keep it pretty simple for today. So now that's saved, I'm going to go over to my JS file right here and add the properties I need in there to actually consume the information from the config information and output that to the, uh, the view itself. So I'll click on my widget item right there. Now, again, if you haven't been in this file yet, this is, again, this is the default stub view of a um, Hello World widget. Uh, it looks a lot scarier than it actually is. Uh, and so what I'll do is I'll walk you through this right now. So the first thing we actually want to go into is the set default properties function right there. We actually want to get the information from the widget instance that was defined in the config file and output that to the view. So to do that, we're actually going to come down here. And what I'll just do is I'll use this default one to start off with. So I'll say this will be Sunday. So I'm going to specify the property for Sunday. And again, just grab the item that's stored in the Sunday item right there. And I'll do this for each day of the week. So hang tight one second. Okay, so now that I've actually set the default properties, and again, these correlate to each one of the properties that are in the config file, I'm good to go to now be able to consume these 
for the data model that'll be applied to the, the view that we have right there. So to get there, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit further and I go into the render function right there. And that's really, we're gonna make that final change to get the data from the property and push it to the view itself. Now, if you normally work with an Akuna widget, you might be more used to doing something like, uh, I'm gonna say the data for Tuesday, I can't spell today, was just gonna be, I'm gonna get the property for that Tuesday item. Okay, so that's the way you might be thinking about doing it right now. But for this widget example, we can actually be a little bit smarter because we don't need to get every day and put it to the data model. We just wanna to get today's message. And to do that, we're gonna use a couple of different um, uh, tricks for that one. So the first thing we're gonna do is, actually we're gonna use, um, included with Akumina, uh, is the uh, library for moment.js. And moment.js is a really awesome library for uh, formatting date strings uh, within the system. So we use that a lot for a lot of things. I'm gonna use it here to actually kind of get the, the name of today's date uh, or today's day, essentially. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever. And to do that, I'm actually just gonna create a simple um, uh, const right here. So say const uh, uh, today name, okay? So again, the name of today. And what we're gonna do there, we're actually gonna say moment. So we're gonna establish this guy right there, moment. And I'm just gonna format it, format, and I'm gonna use four Ds. And what that'll mean is that it's gonna return and display the variable cons, the cons for just the name of the date. So it's gonna be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever. So again, what I could do then is because I know the name of today's date now, I can do data.message equals the current properties. And I'm gonna use the bracket to say today name. And so what this is gonna do now is saying in that um, information from the data model, just get me the property that matches today's name. So again, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever it is. So that's how we're gonna do it right here. So this is all the code that we need to have in here for this widget. So again, super, super simple. So now that I have this available, I can actually make the view actually use this property right there. So I'm gonna to go to my view file right here. And by default, it's gonna generate this default one right there. So I'll double click that. And again, here's the default stub right now. And so what I'll do is for this widget right here, and it'll be different to you, I'm sure. I'm actually gonna create a simple class. Uh, class is equal to uh, daily, oh, I can't spell today, message. And again, I'll use that for formatting this string right there. And right here, I'm just gonna do a simple, um, maybe I'll put an H3 in here, H3. And I'll use my brackets notation to say, or the curly braces, I'm sorry, message to get the message from the data model. So again, that correlates to right here, which again is gonna be the property that matches today's name. Super easy, right? So now that I have this ready, I can now prepare this and deploy this out to the site for uh, this example. So I'll come down here again, I'm gonna do an NPM run build. So that'll build all the widgets that I have in my project right there. Uh, it takes a second or two for that. I'm gonna do an NPM run package to package the widget to have it available and ready to actually deploy out to the site. Now, pro tip right here, uh, if you have a lot of widgets in this project, if I just ran package like this, it's gonna package all the widgets in there and then essentially deploy them all out. If you only wanna actually deploy out one or two of them at a time, I can say package, and then I'm gonna give it the name of the folder it's in. So right here, it's daily message. So I'll just write daily message. Okay, case sensitive isn't important. So I'll say enter right there. It's gonna now package up that widget to have it available and ready to actually deploy out. So the last thing I'll do right here, I'm gonna say npm run deploy. And based on the settings that I have in my project's env file, it's gonna actually authenticate inside the, 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 the Akumina site that runs inside of SharePoint and push out the files needed for that widget itself. So again, pretty, pretty simple as we go through this. So it's gonna actually take a few moments for this. All right, so now that that's done successfully, which is denoted by that message right there, we can now add this widget to the site. So we'll come back over here. But the first thing I wanna do is actually show you where this would live on site, inside the Akumina App Manager. So I'll load the App Manager. I'll go to my Management Apps right here. And down at the bottom, we have our Widget Manager. And I'll just scroll down to the Ds. So we have my daily message right there, which is perfect. I'll click on my instances right here. And here's that default message that we have in there right now, or instance, I'm sorry, I'll edit the properties here. And you see now we have all the different default uh, messages that we have right now. And again, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and again, here are the messages we have for it. Now I can change them right here if I want to, uh, just to kind of mix it up from what I had there by default. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as is and actually add this to my site right now. So let's go back to the site. 
So back here on the site, uh, what I normally do actually, actually I'll create a, um, a hidden page and add the widget there and play around with it until I have it perfect. And then I'll add it to the, the main page of the site that way. Uh, but for demonstration purposes right now, we'll just actually add it to the home page right now. So what I'll do is again, this home page is being managed by the Kumin Experience Builder. So I'll click on my pencil right there. And in the edit mode for this guy, I'm actually gonna click on my toggle widget editing button right there. I'm gonna add it to my drop zone up here. I'll click on the plus right here. I'll search for my daily message, daily message right there. There is that message, I'll click on it, add it to the item right there. You can see now I have my message in there. And again, if I want to, I can actually move this guy up to my top right there. And that's a best, better spot for this guy. I'm gonna save it. And so now I have my message there. And actually give me a second, let me just apply some simple formatting to it. So there you go, nothing crazy, just some uh, text formatting for this guy right here. Um, but again, it kind of just paints the picture about how we have this message. Now, again, if I came here tomorrow, I would see the w the message for Wednesday and then so on and so forth. And again, if I wanted to change the message for Tuesdays, again, I go in the app manager and make the change right there as well. So again, pretty simple example. Uh, and I hope this was educational and uh, I look forward to spending some more time to go through some other uh, samples of building widgets within Akumina. So thank you very much for your time. Again, my name is Dan O'Neill with Akumina and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Have a nice day.